Hey, hey, hey. Today, Med School Made Easy, we're going to be talking about uh, Cushing's Triad, also known as Cushing's Reflex. It's actually named after uh, Dr. Cushing, Dr. Harvey Cushing, an American neurosurgeon, one of the first great neurosurgeons in America. Uh, Cushing's Reflex is an interesting phenomenon that occurs when you have an increased intracranial pressure. So ICP goes up, you have a head injury, you have a head bleed, something like that. And it causes this unusual triad of things. The triad is hypertension and bradycardia, which is kind of interesting because usually we don't see those things together. Um, and it's, it's almost paradoxical in that way. Um, the other thing is uh, irregular respirations, irregular breathing. We're gonna explain why these three things happen. High blood pressure, low heart rate, irregular respirations. So when the ICP goes up inside the brain, um, because of the Monroe Kelly Doctrine, which is an interesting doctrine about the uh, spaces in your head and the relative pressures, there's only a certain amount of give before the cranium becomes confining and the increased intracranial pressure gets too high. It overcomes, it gets greater than your mean arterial pressure, your MAP. This leads to a decreased cerebral perfusion pressure. Um, what this does is it causes constriction and ischemia to the brain. And that causes a sympathetic response. So we activate the sympathetic nervous system. Through alpha-1, just like it does for any other reason, the alpha-1 receptors cause hypertension. If we drive up our MAP, hopefully the ICP won't be able to overcome it and our CPP will normalize, we'll perfuse our brain. That's what your body's trying to do. However, paradoxically, when your body detects you're having high blood pressure from the alpha-1 activation, uh, the baroreceptors in your aortic arch start to pick up on this hypertension, and through the vagus nerve, they activate the parasympathetic nervous system. What that does is it sends reflexes through your vagus nerve to your heart and says, hey, I know that you're putting out more cardiac output to try and push the pressure, but we need you to chill out a little bit. And uh, that makes it become, that's where your bradycardic or your decrease in rate comes from. Uh, unfortunately, people that have Cushing's triads, their head injury, your, their intracranial pressure is usually pretty severe. And so because of that, you get these same ischemic pressure-based patterns to the patient's uh, brainstem. And that's where you get your agonal or irregular respirations from. Usually if a patient is developing Cushing's reflex or Cushing's triad, their head injury is very severe. Neurosurgery should be involved. Um, and uh, they have a pretty bad brain injury with s severe ischemia. Uh, and that's Cushing's try. Thanks.